In this episode of Control Issues, we'll be building a line-following robot. Line-following robots make for a great project when you're learning robotics. There are plenty of environmental variables as well as programmatic variables that you can change to affect the performance. So I decided to make a really simple little line-following robot project um, with as few components as possible. I decided to make a really simple one that's controlled by an Arduino Leonardo and the uh, motors are controlled by Palulu DRV8835. The structure of this bot is pretty simple. It's a one and a half inch channel with a nine volt battery mounted inside and some plastic beams to position everything just so. The driving is done by some right angle gear motors with some press on wheels. And while I'm not a fan of 9 volt batteries usually because I really like lipos, you get a lot more bang for your buck. But for people who are new to robotics or just getting in, I think 9 volt batteries are a lot more approachable. You don't have to get into the world of lipos to deal with charging and things like that. So I am a big fan of our 9 volt channel mounts for, for 9 volt batteries. And it fits inside this one and a half inch channel quite nicely. The proper distance of these sensors to the table will vary depending on the contrast from your line to the table and the brightness in the room. But the great thing about these plastic beams is they make it easy to adjust that distance. The line sensing is done by these QTR 1RC reflectance sensors also from Palulu. Essentially what they do is they send an integer back to the Arduino telling you the brightness or darkness of what they're looking at right now. The sketch on the Arduino essentially compares the difference between the left and right side and will proportionally drive the opposite motor. So as the left sensor goes over the dark line, it'll increase the speed of the right motor to correct its course. To get started, you're going to plug your 9-volt battery in. That power is going to the motor driver. So to send that power from the motor driver to the rest of the board, we're going to attach a tiny jumper across the V-in and V-out pins on the Plulu motor driver. And now the moment you've been waiting for, some gratuitous line following action. For the code I used to run this project, as well as the detailed build instructions, go ahead and check out the link in the show notes to our instructable for this episode. Control Issues is brought to you by RobotZone, inventing the parts for your ideas. And ServoCity.com, the place to go to buy the parts for your projects. If you've got questions or ideas for future episodes, send an email to tech at ServoCity.com.